Hello, and welcome to my second video in my series about how to rip N64 ROMs from official copies of the game. Um, this episode is going to be about doing that with the Wii Virtual Console. So if you've watched my other video tutorial about how to homebrew your Wii in 2020, um, one of the things I did in that video, which I will link down below in the description, is I dumped everything that was installed on my Wii as a .wad or a WAD file. Um, <clears throat> now, what I've gone ahead and done here is I've just copied those things that I dumped last time um, into this folder up here. Um, C is your, basically just my documents folder and then task dolphin Wii watts is where I have it. But you can put it wherever you want. Um, but anyway, so you can see that I have my Majora's Mask wad and my Ocarina of Time wad from the ones that I dumped from my virtual Wii. Um, and we are going to be using those to access the N64 ROM inside today. So first off, I should explain, um, we're going to be using a program called Show Me Wads uh, to do this. Um, I have a link to download that below in the description. Uh, it's what you see right here. But um, the first thing you're going to want to do in Show Me Wads is, if you haven't already, um, you just want to open the folder that has your wads in it. So if you do File and then Open Folder, I'm sorry that you can't see when I have clicked on file, it doesn't show up, but there's an option called open folder in the file menu. You'll just click that and then you'll just browse to where your folder is. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is go to tools and then there's a, um, an option at the bottom called create common key. So you're going to want to click that. Um, in my case, it's telling me that commonkey.bin already exists, so I don't have to worry about that. But um, you'll need to do that the first time you run it. Um, so once the common key is created, the next thing you're going to want to do is right-click the WAD file and choose Extract. Again, I'm sorry that it's not showing up here, but <laughs> I'm just going to describe to you what's happening. So I right-clicked I right uh, my file, which you can see that it's highlighted up here. And then there's an option called Extract. And then um, there's three more options. You want to choose the first one, which is Two Folder. So it's just going to bring up a dialog for you to browse where you want to save it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to click OK. And then you can see down here, um, it has my extracted WAD file. So it has a bunch of these dot apps. Um, the one we're interested in is the f five app. As you can see, that one is the largest of all of them. Um, so that's going to be the one that contains our ROM since it's the biggest one. Um, so n now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back to Show Me Wads. We're going to click Tools, and then the second option in the menu says Unpack U8 Archive. That's the one you're going to want to click. And again, it's just going to have you browse to where your U8 Archive file is. The one we want is that 5.app file. Um, so I'm just going to browse to that. Again, <laughs> I do apologize for it not showing up. I'm not sure why that's happening. But, um, da -da -da. Okay. Okay, here we go. 5.app. And then it's going to ask you where you want to save it. So again, you're just going to browse to wherever you want to save it. Um, I'm just going to put it in the same folder. Okay, so now you can see that I have a 5 app folder, 5app out, so we're going to double click that. And there's a lot of files in here. Um, the one you're interested in is going to be called ROM or ROM C. For Majora's Mask, it's going to be called ROM C. Uh, it's right here. And if we look at the file size, you can see that it's 
kilobytes, um, which is incorrect. Um, Majora's Mask has a file size of 32 megabytes exactly. Um, so this ROM is actually compressed, and we need to decompress it first. So um, there is a tool available to do that, which I will link in the description. It's called ROMChew, which is a very clever name because <laughs> the uh, the main game that even needs this is Majora's Mask, and bomb chews are just so useful in Majora's Mask. So it, it's like a play on bomb chew. But anyway, the downside is that it is a command prompts tool. So if you're not comfortable working with the command line, um, you're just going to need to follow exactly what I do. But it shouldn't be too bad as long as you're following my instructions. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to wherever your wrong shoe you, you downloaded it to. Um, so I downloaded it to um, documents and then TAS and then um, tools and then wrong shoe. Yeah, there we go. Uh, if you want to see what's inside this directory, you can type dir. And um, you can see that we have the romchu.exe file. So that's the one we're going to need to use. So if you just type romchu.exe, it's going to tell you how to use it. Um, so the usage is uh, romchu, and then the name of the romc file. Um, and then whatever you want the output file to be called. So we'll start by doing romchu.exe. And then we need to put in the path to our romc file. So if you go over to where your romc file is, um, and you click this little folder, it's going to highlight everything in the file path. So you can just right click and say copy. And then to paste in command prompt, you need to right click where you want it to paste. <laughs> like if I right clicked like over here, it would mess it up. So just make sure you right click like kind of where the blinking cursor is. Um, and then you're going to need to add in backslash romc since that's the name of the file. And then it's going to be a space and then just whatever you want the file to be called. Um, so in my case, I actually want to save it in my directory of N64 ROMs. So we're going to do the same thing where I click this folder and then I right click and choose copy. And then I right click in command prompts and it'll paste it. Um, and then I just need to create a file name. So I'm going to call it um, NCSE0 because this is um, the N64 ROM, like the internal code for it is NZSE, and it's version 1.0, um, so that's just what I want to call it, and then .n64. And then you can just hit enter. Um, oh, see, this didn't work because, um, the folder I chose had a space in it, so... We're just going to put quotes around it, so that way the space is not a problem. Yeah, if at all possible, try to not have any spaces, just so you don't have that problem. But if you do have a space, you can just um, you can just put quotes. And now it's going to be decompressing it. And it says OK here. So if we go look over here, um, NZSC0, that was our file. So if we go into Project 64, um, let me open that up. There we go. And um, you can see that our file is right here, Majora's Mask U. So if I double click that, um, and then There we go. So you can see it's emulating. Everything's working great. There's nothing wrong with the ROM. Um, it's a perfect dump. So yeah. Um, now, for some games, you don't actually need to use ROMChu. So I'm going to do an example of that here. Um, so for Ocarina of Time, you're not going to need to use ROMChu. So we're just going to go through the steps one more time. Um, so we're going to right click it and say extract to folder 
and I'm just going to browse for where I want that to be. Okay, and now we have that folder here, um, Zelda Ocarina, so we're just going to double click that. And then we're going to find our file, it's this five app file again. Um, you can tell because it's the biggest file, so it has to contain a 32 megabyte ROM, so anything that's less than 32 megabytes obviously isn't going to be it. Um, and then we're going to go back to Show Me Wads, and we're going to choose Tools, Unpack U8 Archive. Again, it's not showing up, but just I promise you it's there. <laughs> if you click Tools, Unpack U8 Archive will be one of the options. Um, and then we're going to choose the five app file. And then it's going to ask where you want to save it. Um, so we're just going to save in the same folder to make it easy. And then it it's telling me that it successfully unpacked the U8 archive. And we can tell because we have this five app folder now. And if we go inside, we're going to look for a file called ROM. Here we go. Here's a file called ROM. It doesn't have the C after it, so that means it's not compressed. And if you check the file size, it's 32768, which is the exact right size. So in this case, I can just go ahead and um, copy this file over to my N64 directory. And it's just called ROM right now, so Project 64 is not going to pick it up since it doesn't have a .N64 or Z64 extension. So I'm just going to rename it to um, CZLE2, because this is dot .N64, since this, the internal code is CZLE, and uh, it's version 1.2, because the Wii Virtual Console for OOT uses 1.2. Um, so I'm just going to click that, and then again, if I open up Project 64, um, we can see this Ocarina of Time U 1.2, and uh, it recognizes what the game is. It doesn't matter what you name it, it'll be able to recognize anyway if it's a good dump. And then if I go ahead and um, start it, you can see it's emulating just fine. So again, this is another good dump. Um, but yeah, that'll about do it. Again, I'm very sorry that the, um, the secondary menus were not showing up. But, um, yeah, if you just listen to what I said, uh, you'll be fine. Like, just when I said go to Tools and Unpack U8 Archive, just do that, and it'll be pretty self-explanatory. Um, the only things you really need to know is that, um, so when, you're f when you start up Show Me Wads for the first time, you need to do two things, which is browse to your folder, um, which is going to be... Whoa, one second. <laughs> uh, file, open folder, and then that'll put the folder that you chose up here, and it'll show you all your wads inside. The second thing you're going to need to do is make a common key.bin file. So you're going to do tools, create common key down here. And then um, after that, you're good. There's nothing else you have to do multiple times. Um, or you only, those are the only stuff you have to do once, I should say. And then um, you're going to want to extract the WAD file by just right clicking it and saying extract to folder. Um, and then once it's extracted, uh, you're going to go into the folder and find whichever .app file is the biggest. Um, in our case, it's this one. And then lastly, in Show Me Wads, you're going to click Tools, and then in the drop-down menu that pops up, it's going to be Unpack U8 Archive. Um, and that will give you the... Um, uh, wait, wait a second here. That'll give you this folder um, that you can just double-click. And then inside of that, you're going to be looking for a file called lowercase rom or lowercase rom c. If it's just rom and um, it's like a normal size, like 32768 or 
65535 or 8192 or 16384, all those binary sizes. If it's one of those, you know it's correct. Um, but if it is, um, like in the case of Majora's Mask, our file is called ROMC, uh, if I can find it, there it is. And the file size is not a nice binary size. It ends in a nine. <laughs> binary sizes are even at the very least. So you can tell that that one's not correct. Um, so in that case, you're gonna need to decompress it with ROMCHU, um, which is a command line tool. And um, you just need to CD to wherever it is, um, wherever the ROMCHU is, and then you can just type ROMCHU if you forget what the syntax is. But in our case, it's just ROMCHU, ROMC file, and then output file.n64. So I browsed to where the um, ROMC file was, which was um, here. And I clicked this folder, and then you can just right click, say copy. Um, you can right click to paste that. Uh, like that, like, and then um, the output, you, you can output it in the current directory if you want to. Um, in my case, I just wanted to have it directly in my ROMs directory, so that's why I did the folder thing a second time, but it's not too important if you don't do that. So anyway, yeah, that has been um, how to extract ROMs from a Wii Virtual Console title. Um, I still have one more of these videos on the horizon, which is going to be how to extract from a Wii U Virtual Console, which is probably the most useful to all of you, because um, the Wii U Virtual Console shop is the only one that's still open. <laughs> so that's a great way to get N64 ROMs, is to just buy a Virtual Console title for Wii U, and then um, dump it, which I will create a video how to do that soon. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much going to do it. Um, if you're a Linux user, unfortunately, the easiest way to do this is definitely to use these Windows tools. Um, but I will have links in the description for some other things you can investigate. Um, there's a Python script that I've never actually tried before, but um, it seems to be well regarded that can do this for you, as well as a couple of other options. Um, you can also compile Show Me Wads using Mono instead of .NET, which will let it work on Linux if you're comfortable compiling it. Um, and then there's another tool that's just a C program that you can compile using GCC. But anyway, um, that should do it. Um, thank you so much, everyone, for watching, and I will see you for the next video, which will be, again, a Wii, virtual, Wii U Virtual Console ROM extraction. Thanks, bye!